you probably already know what I'm about to say or some of the things that I'm about to say, but if you don't, that's fine. That's what this video is for. Stay tuned. What it is, folk? What is up, YouTube gang? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. It is your girl, The Real JC, and I am coming back to you with another video. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing good because that's the only way to be. But as y'all read by the title, we're going to talk about some feminine hygiene tips you need to know. So before we get into that, make sure that you like, you comment, you subscribe, you turn on those post notifications, and you get with me because you already know what I'm going to say. We are going up. We are going up point blank period. Y'all see I got my hair did. Yes. Yes. This is what I was almost late for. My hair appointment. But make sure really before i was really interrupted by my child make sure that you like you comment you subscribe because y'all might need y'all might already know this but y'all friends might not you know your home girl might not so let's pass this information forward because we don't want to be walking around here looking a little funky we want we're gonna come out here looking great okay okay period let's get into it all right all right all right let's get into it my first tip or thing that you need to know because you might already know how to do this so i'm not even gonna try to keep it long like wipe front to back like if you don't do nothing else wipe front to back because not only is that more sanitary that'll help you from um keeping you know getting a smell or an infection because you're supposed to wipe front to back like who wipe like i don't even know i don't know but make sure that you wipe front to back period point blank there's no really need of explanation for that um you probably already do this but i just wanted to throw that out there for the first one so yeah wipe front to back it's more sanitary and it won't give you no infection. You won't be funky. My second tip or thing that you need to know is once you finish using the bathroom, go in with some flushable wipes, preferably non-scented because it'll be better for, you know, your, your, your girl, she, she's sensitive. So you can't be putting everything on her like that. You get you some non-scented wipes. I got some Equate because these work the best for me. And you go in after, you know, you use your tissue, you wipe front to back. You wipe front to back with some tissue. You go in behind the tissue or you can use only this if you want to. That's, per that's your choice. But you go in with this and it makes sure you know you real clean you real smooth you real sanitary you know you real smell free you feel me and you you know just use some wipes some they, these are about two dollars if not they was at walmart if y'all want to know where i got them from got me i think it was like two dollars if not i put them put them in the description but yes this will make you clean it will make you feel moisturized it won't be you itchy it won't leave you doing none of that so get you some wipes get you some wipes and let's be clean together let's be clean now this is for like the outside you know you want to keep her looking smooth you want to keep her looking smooth you know you don't want her dry and itchy and do all that if you don't want none of that switch to waxing and i know i just started waxing not too long ago but your girl has already seen a difference and i i'm never going back to shaving like never it grows back you know it grows back you know you don't got no ingrown hairs because we know them ingrown hairs is annoying and ugly so we don't want none of those so what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch to waxing because hear me out hear me out i know it's painful like you might think it's painful or whatnot um it is i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you but it is the the healthiest way for your hair to grow back without you know you getting those ingrown hairs you getting those ugly little scars or you getting the the hyper pigmentation even that because when you shave you know like you get them dark spots you know your your, your private area become much more darker than what it was same with armpits same with armpits like it gets darker so switch to waxing it'll help um 
re relieve some of that hyper pigmentation you know so you get your color back or you get back to looking like you know your your private area get the back looking like your face you feel me so switch to waxing and or like at least just stop shaving like go to v do it in there or something like that just stop shaving because it's going to leave you with the ugly little marks and it's gonna leave it's gonna come back itchy it's gonna come back in 2.5 seconds let's talk about that it's gonna come back in 2.5 seconds if you do nair you do the you do waxing especially a waxing that lasts way longer than shaving way longer and it doesn't give you that much trouble so yeah just go through the pain for one quick second session. just just try it and see the difference just just try it next 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 girl Switch your feminine products, switch your pads, switch your tampons very, very much so often. Because one, that's, that's, you know, more sanitary. Even though your pad or your tampon may not be filled completely, change it. Because not only are you sitting in that blood all day, yes, it, yes, you're sitting in that blood all day, which can, can not only, you know, cause an infection, but it can also um leave smell and we don't be walking around here fishy we don't want none of that because who want to walk around stinking like who i can't even i can't even come up with nothing uh to justify that change your pad because um yeah don't don't and that is uncomfortable like to my ladies it is uncomfortable to have a pad on i'm already knowing i'm a woman too but we gotta do it we gotta do it but we also gotta change it and we also gotta switch that thing out i you know yeah switch it out i ain't even finna talk about me yet we gonna switch it out yeah all right y'all if my camera's moving my bad i'm trying to stop and start i can't find my remote but anyways my my ladies i know we be wanting that you know the hoops to be smelling great you want to clean it when you want to shower however do not put soap inside your lips, okay? Because not only does that burn, but that can throw off your pH balance. And throw off your pH balance, you get a smell. And we don't want that. We don't want to smell good. We're here to talk about hygiene tips to keep you smelling good. You feel me? You feel me. I know. Just wash the outside. If you're going to do it, wash the outside. But the inside, you know, is designed to clean itself. That's why, you know, you get that discharge. So that is designed to clean your 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 girl's cleaning herself okay you just take care of the outside she take care of the inside but do not put no soap in there because that will throw off your ph balance and that will leave you funky and we don't want that we were trying to smell good for not only ourselves but if you got a significant other like you feel me like you did like just keep it clean on the outside she take care of herself she'll take care of herself right next this one gonna hit home for some of y'all because it hit home for me. You know, you be like wearing them cute panties, you know, the ones that's silk, the ones that's lace, you know, the ones that look good, you know, the ones that look good for you. However, they are not beneficial for you. Switch to some cotton panties, y'all, because they are the most breathable. And yes, it is the summertime. So you want your hoot to breathe, then that's what you got to do. You got to switch to cotton panties because that leaves a smell. Like, it's hot. Y'all going to sweat down there. Y'all are going to sweat down there. You sweat down there every day. If not, I'm sorry. I don't really know. I don't. But listen, we're not here to talk about mine. I'm just here to tell y'all. Switch to them cotton panties because y'all y'all she need to breathe too you ain't trying to suffocate all day ain't nobody trying to do all that and then it leaves you feeling clean like you don't stink you don't have to smell that every day you know like yes the silk panties and the lace panties are cute they're gorgeous i know however cotton panties are the most beneficial look it up i promise you i know what i'm talking about because i did my research and if you do not want to wear them cotton panties, free ball, free ball. Yes, I said it, the guys do it, we can do it too, free ball. It's best for your hoot anyway, because ain't nothing suffocating her. If you free ball, I commend you, I commend you. Because listen, that prevents ingrown hairs and that prevents you know your hoot suffocating, which leaves you with no smell and a smooth hoot. 
okay okay it's a win-win and plus it's comfortable because we all know them panties give you wedgies they do so free ball at night if you sleep by yourself or if you don't i don't really care that's none of my business free ball free ball because your girl is gonna is gonna see a difference especially with the ingrown hairs because what i learned when i when i was doing my research was that you know you get ingrown hairs because you your panties are pushing the hairs back in that's a possibility yes the hairs can go back in because of your panties if you do free ball you get less ingrown hairs yes do it try it i know i know try it just try it i promise you try it all right this one is basic i know but drink you some water because that's gonna help your hoop too it's it's that simple water helps your face water helps your hoop water helps your body just drink it because if you drink sodas all day long you drink juice all day long which i'm not saying is bad that's your business that's your yes your hoop however drink some water in the mix because that will leave your hoot you know your ph balance won't get thrown off by all that you know that sugar drink you some water at least like two bottles a day at most like just drink some water it's beneficial for your whole body but in this case in this video i'm talking about your hoop drink some water all right this is for my people that's in a relationship or you know entanglements whatever you want to call it whatever y'all want to call it if you are messing around with somebody I, that's not really my business however make sure before anything goes down y'all wash our hands okay make sure that your significant other washes their hands because let's just think about how many germs you don't touch you don't touch the door you don't touch the phone you don't touch uh let's i don't really know you don't touch everything and you think you're gonna touch her no that's bad don't do that wash hands because you put all them little germs all them little creepy crawlers right up on it on your uh, on your hoop. don't do it don't do it have them wash their hands you wash your hands y'all just wash your hands because um that's sanitary that's very much so sanitary and it will leave your girl without an infection look it up all right my last but certainly not my least is hydrate your girl like when you get out the shower same way you lotion your face you wash your face you lotion your body you know you moisturize your body don't leave her hanging because that's also how you get ingrown hairs so yeah um so once you take out you know your handy dandy exfoliator this one i, I think y'all seen this one before it's the tree hut but i got it in a different one i got the turmeric one if that's how you say it if not i'm sorry but i got the turmeric one it also helps with you know hyperpigmentation so yeah exfoliate exfoliate and then once you exfoliate you hydrate because um you can't just leave her hanging like put something on her like something to to moisturize her i typically use um aloe vera tea tree oil the same way i kind of do it with my face like um yeah just you can use coconut oil you can use you can use something just don't leave it hanging just just don't leave it hanging because um that ain't cute and it's gonna look like you know you got them diseases even though you don't it just do like just just hydrate take care of her do what you gotta do follow all these steps and watch you have a good cooch watch it be clean and watch it be smooth so yeah try all these tips if you do them already i commend you keep on doing it even though it's a lot i know keep on doing it because it's it's, it's for the better of you and her so yeah if you want to stay clean if you want to stay smooth follow these tips follow them and yeah just do that i can't even say ends nothing to add on to it just just keep it clean keep it smooth and follow these tips and you'll be all right but without further ado i'm gonna close out this video thank you so much for watching make sure that you like you comment you subscribe you turn those post notifications and you share this with your friend just in case you know it they might not so just share with them let them know what it is and what it ain't if they already know cool beans i commend you guys keep doing what y'all doing because we gonna smell good 
not even just for the summer but you know all year round 365 we're gonna smell good and we're gonna look good okay okay but i love you guys and i will see you in the next video peace out